Hey everybody, I'm Mama Bird and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it's all about the cream cheese. I recently was gifted a 30 pound block of cream cheese from my local food bank. I am ecstatic because this is something that my family buys a lot of. So to be able to get 30 pounds of it, that's like 60 blocks of cream cheese. And we've been using it for bagels already and I have got some pumpkin spice English muffins. Mmm, they are so good. But I want to get this preserved so it doesn't go bad because this is uh, quite a bit of cream cheese. So my plan to tackle this block of cream cheese. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I'm going to preserve it a couple of different ways. One of the ways is by freeze drying it. I do have a freeze dryer and apparently cream cheese can freeze dry very well. So I'm going to give that a go. What my plan is, is I'm going to portion one eight ounce block, ball, whatever, and have that portion to the side and then make the rest just a solid layer. That way I can measure that after it's freeze dried and I'll know exactly how much an eight ounce portion of cream cheese could be for future portioning of it. And then I also want to vacuum seal some and have it in the freezer just in case as well. And I won't be able to fit all this in my freeze dryer at one time. So I have these little portion bags. The only opening is right here. Look, I already got cream cheese on me. I haven't even started. I did cut them in half. I don't know if this will be big enough for an eight ounce portion of cream cheese, but we'll give it a go. If not, I also have one of these smaller rolls that I can use this to make smaller bags because I feel like one eight ounce portion in here might not be enough. So maybe I can do two because sometimes you double the recipe. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. I have a scale. I have my handy dandy kitchen glove. I'm going to get in here. I'm going to grab some cream cheese and we're going to get stuff portioned. Before we get into the video though, please give this a like. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Every like, comment, share, it really helps support my channel and I appreciate all of your love and support guys. All right, let's get in here and let's portion some cream cheese. All right, so that's six ounces, 8.01. So here's eight ounces or one block of cream cheese. So I'm going to flatten this out. This is one portion. Pretty good. And I'm going to do one more portion for the vacuum seal bag. All right. There we go. There we go. One eight ounce portion of cream cheese for the freezer. I think that'll work. Hopefully I didn't mess it up by getting all that in there. Um, we'll see. Now I'm just going to work on filling up the rest of these trays with cream cheese. I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap so I know that this is what I need to weigh out. Um, I might also clean that edge a bit so it's not right up against the edge. There we go. And then we'll put this in the freezer to prepare for the freeze dryer. All right, I got all my trays filled. This was all I was able to put in there. So now this is going to the freezer. Bye. All right, let's freeze dry this one pound or this eight ounce package. I was just thinking I was going to do some oh, and one pound packages as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, looks pretty good to me. I'm going to go ahead and give this one more seal. Let's see how that does. Just for a backup, make sure. A little worried since I got it all messy. It was hard to get it in there though without making a mess. That looks pretty good. All right, so there's one eight ounce package of cream cheese for the freezer. Right, so I'm gonna keep using these packs that I have. I really like these and they're super convenient. So I'm doing it and I'm going to do a couple that have two blocks worth though for some recipes that call for two blocks. So let me do a couple of those and I'll bring it back when I'm all done. For the two block bags, I ended up putting the vacuum seal bag over a cup and pulling the edge down. I was trying to keep it so it wouldn't be as messy and that ended up working pretty well. Hey everybody. So it's been a couple of days since I got that first round of cream cheese tackled. I got some in the freezer and I thawed this because I wanna see kind of what the consistency is like. And then our freeze dried cream cheese is done. So this is that one block we did 
and then I was testing to make sure it was dry. It's just powdered. It's crazy. Wow. It was weird eating powdered cream cheese and then as you eat it, it reconstitutes. So it becomes from powder to creamy in your mouth. Pretty interesting. Mmm, tastes good though. So what I'm gonna do is, you can see when it's thawed that it gets a little runnery, run, runnery, it gets a little runny. But this is still perfectly good. Like all you have to do is just kind of mix this up and then you could have regular cream cheese. Like I've seen people use this on bagels. You can mix this up using the recipes. So don't be afraid to freeze cream cheese. It really does work. But it is a little separated, so we'll open this up and we'll give it a stir so we can give that a try. For the powdered cream cheese, the freeze-dried one, I'm going to put this one block. Let me get some tinsel. So this is an 8-ounce block. So I'm going to powder this up and see exactly how much this is. So then that way I can powder up all the rest and just measure it out instead of having to have each one separated into eight ounces when it goes in. There we go. It actually didn't disintegrate that much. So I was expecting like half a cup, but nope. Let's try my two cup portion. Let's see how much we get. So that's about a cup and a quarter, because here's a cup, here's a cup and a half, and it's not to a cup and a half, it's about right. So let's say a cup and one quarter equals eight ounces of cream cheese. So now I can go ahead and blend up all the rest of this and get it portioned. And how I'm thinking of portioning it once it's freeze dried, is I have these little Mylar bags that have a clear front, like so. So I'm thinking, will it fit in there? Oh, I don't know if it's gonna fit out. Oh, it will not fit a block of cream cheese. That's a little depressing, it only fits about half of it. So I'm going to need to get bigger Mylar bags. But I mean, it would be good if you just want a little bit for like some bagels or something. I think that looks pretty cute. Aww, and there's cream cheese. It's unbelievable, guys. Freeze dried food is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Especially that we can freeze dry cream, you know, cream cheese. Like, I think that's pretty amazing. Cream cheese, I hear you can do like sour cream, half and half. And then you can make like your own yogurt bites by doing this. All right, so I'm going to put the other part of this eight ounce block in here there we go. so this together is an eight ounce block nice okay all right so this is about right under the one and a half mark so this is one eight ounce block i still have quite a bit in there see i don't have no, a middle size between this size and the small size half full so maybe we can just do that and then this can just be two blocks of cream cheese I think I'm fine with that two blocks and I'm just gonna keep doing this until all this cream cheese is packaged up all right everybody I got that all packaged up I just did two blocks of cream cheese per bag and that got me enough for two six bags and then I have this leftover that's not quite enough to make one block of cream cheese so I'm going to reconstitute that and we're going to open up the freezer one that is now thawed all right so I'm gonna put the freezer one in here like I said it looks like it has a little bit of the liquid separate okay there we go 
So let's give this a mix. So it kind of looks a bit grainy. Can you see the chunks in there? But I bet it would go well in recipes. All right, so there's the freezer one. Now let's add some water to this one and reconstitute it. All right, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of water and stir. So this is coming together. It's still a little powdery, so I'm gonna add just a splash more. Now some people, when they're freeze drying stuff, they weigh the product before it goes in, and then they weigh it when it comes out. I am just kind of adding water and seeing how it turns out. So you could do it that way as well. That's probably more science and math behind it. I'm just kind of doing it this way. It looks like it's getting put together. I hear the squishiness of it. We'll call that good. I have one cinnamon raisin bagel here. That's all I had was one. So we're gonna cut this in half. We'll do half and half. So this is the freeze freezer one that I've thought out. And then freeze dried one. Let's give it a try. So you can see a difference just in the colors, I think. This is the freezer, this is the freeze dried. Kind of, do you see the graininess? They both look a little grainy, honestly. That one says pretty good. You wanna try it, Betty? Let's give him the husband, let's see what he thinks. All right, husband says the freezer is a little grainy, but it tastes okay. All right. So husband does not like the freeze dry process one. So we'll probably end up just freezing the rest of it because this looks pretty good and I think it's gonna work great for recipes. Now that I have the cream cheese packaged into two bricks per package, I'm gonna add an oxygen absorber per package. All right, and then for these, I'm gonna push out as much air as I can. Yellow. Now that this is sealed, we have this closed up, so let's go ahead and seal the top of this. Just gonna use a hair straightener to melt that mylar there. Make sure you get every little bit out. And there you go. And then for the little ones, you do the same thing. Just kind of melt that plastic there. This one's a little hotter because it's a different type of plastic because it's clear in the front. Clear but just like front. that, yep, that's all sealed. Pretty easy beans. Well, I'm gonna continue to preserve all that cream cheese. I still have about half of that block left. So 15 pounds roughly I need to do. I'm probably going to freeze it since that seemed to be our preferred method over the freeze drying. But now I have some cream cheese in my long-term storage that's freeze dried that I can always use for some baking if I run out. I'm gonna keep plugging along here. Thanks for coming along and seeing me process 30 pounds of cream cheese. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time on Mama Birds. I'm gonna take a bite of that bloody pound of cream cheese. <laughs>